Hi there, this is John Highman from Commercial Real Estate Online. Welcome to the program. This is the podcast show all about commercial real estate brokerage around the world. The community for the program is quite large across sales, leasing and property management. So make sure you subscribe here today so you can get the other programs as we put them out. Indeed, the program has been going for many years. And of course, there are many different audio programs that can help you with your ideas, your momentum, your brokerage activity. Now, the website to contact us is commercial-realestate-training.com. Now, in today's program, I want to talk about the slumps in commercial real estate, why they happen and how you can resolve those slumps in your business. It doesn't matter what's going on in the property market, but it does matter how you respond. And today, I will give you three specific things to help you move ahead and get away from that slump in your real estate business. Indeed, to help you reshape your activities and move ahead. So here is the audio, and I'll catch you at the other end. So how can you get out of a real estate slump? Of course, slumps happen for all sorts of reasons, sometimes personal, sometimes city, town or locationally related. So you can get out of a slump. It's just a matter of changing what you're thinking, what you're doing, and of course, refocusing. So let's look at that and let's give you some ideas. There are always opportunities in the real estate market to tap into, always. It's just a matter of understanding the market understanding what you're doing and what you're not doing, and how you can adjust. In commercial real estate brokerage, it's not unusual for agents to struggle or to have a slump in business from time to time. It's a fact of life. That being said, you can always respond, and you can always improve things no matter what's going on. Now, the matter is resolved when agents and brokers focus back onto building market share and client base. In other words, getting closer to the people who need their help. So why does a slump in business happen? While the market may change and the tenants or buyers could be slower to respond to a deal opportunity, everything comes back to the volume and the quality of listings held by the broker. A good quality listing marketed correctly and directly at any time will sell or lease most of the time. So it says that you should be focusing on your listings, your contacts and what you're doing. So how can a broker get out of a slump in commissions and in listings? Try some of these. Number one, simplicity. Simplify the day so more of the right things get done. Avoid the things that waste your time or divert you away from the really important parts of your business. It is a sad fact that diversions occur each day and far too many brokers and agents let those diversions take over. The top agents really do focus on certain things, the important things that are going to give them business over time. So, focus on the things that must be done to move ahead. That's your focus. Understand the importance of those things in business generation at a personal level. An agent, a broker, that is struggling is usually well off the rails when it comes to the essential business tasks and the focus in their business day. Now, you can't control all of your day. I get that. You simply can't. There's too much going on. But you should be able to control at least half of your working day. When you know that, understand it, then use it. Focus half of your working day on the things that really matter towards growing market share. Everything else, even deals and transactions, can slip into the other half of the day. So this now refocuses your time. This gives you an opportunity to get somewhere yourself. Focusing half of your day on the things that matter in growing market share. Because you need market share and your clients, your listings, some will come, some will go. So by focusing on market share, you're actually filling the pipeline. That's important. Number two, actions and habits. We are the products of our habits. Only our practices will help us change the market and or commissions. So our practices each day. 
What are we doing each day? What are you doing each day? Start a new specific habit per week and develop it to a new high level of momentum, recognizing that that particular habit is most important to where you want to get in your real estate business. Try to avoid the administrative stuff during the middle of the day or even at the beginning of the day because the beginning of the day is most important to getting somewhere with new people, new listings, new market share. Focus on the key things that mean a lot to build your market share. Understand that and use it. The question will then be, what are the most important habits to develop? What are they? In most cases, they are a mixture of the following. Prospecting, marketing, presenting, inspecting and negotiating. Take each one of these habits and improve the process. Of course, what will be the most important out of those that I mentioned? Probably prospecting, followed closely behind negotiating. So take each one of these habits and improve the process. When you have got the new skill underway, move on to the next one. I go back to the point that habits are essential in our industry. Everything that you have around you today and everything that you have succeeded with in and around your business is a direct result of the habits that you have been living by and implementing in your working day. And of course, if things could be better, then take a serious look at your habits, what you're doing, what you're not doing and reshape that. Number three, see some progress. Check your progress each day in the things that mean something to where you are headed as a broker or an agent. Know what those factors are and how you want to move ahead. Expect the numbers to show you that. In tracking those numbers, you can improve your results in the things that really matter. What would I recommend you follow? Try these for starters. Cold calling, meetings, presentations, listings, inspections, and closed deals. So see some progress in each of these particular things. I'll repeat them for you. Cold calls made each day. Meetings created each day. Presentations made for listings. Listing conversions, that's open versus exclusive. Inspections undertaken. And closed deals. Possibly as one other thing you can add to this, is the amount of marketing dollars that you are converting from vendor paid marketing funds. So I mentioned three things there for you. To recap, simplicity in your day. Number two, actions and habits. Number three, seeing your progress. We must control our working days if we are to get anywhere in brokerage. Too many people will take up your time if you don't do that. Too many people will want to talk to you, ask you to come to a meeting, and of course that can disrupt every good thing that you thought you may have done during the day. Our days are limited. Our time in the industry, of course, is limited. We all have work choices throughout the day, and the choices that we make will build our market share, stall it or destroy it. If someone wants a slice of your time and asks for an appointment, a meeting, a conversation, Understand that the most essential people are the only ones that should get priority time with you. Who are those most essential people? Well, they are the people that can give you the business, perhaps give you the transaction, the people that can help you improve in commissions and listings over time. Unimportant issues can always wait till later in the day, when the critical issues in your business day, your activities, are done. That's how you will start to thrive and grow in commercial real estate brokerage. Start the process, discipline yourself, and stick to the plan. And so that was the program for today. It was all about real estate slumps and how you can adjust yourself around them, through them, and then to build certainly a big business from any slump that's going on. It's all about discipline, focus, and activity. Now, in closing, don't forget to visit our website, which is commercial-realestate-training.com. Pick up on all the things that we're posting there regularly regards commercial real estate brokerage. So in closing, 
This is John Highman. I do thank you for listening and subscribe today so you can get the next programs as we put them out. I'm signing off for now. I'll catch you again very soon online.